the key to success in working problems with gases when we're talking about ways in which the gases deviate from the ideal gas situation is using the van der Waals equation. Real gases are quite different from ideal gases under some conditions. Other times, real gases are very similar to ideal gases. It depends on certain factors. Gas molecules may have a very significant volume when compared to the volume over which they roam. You may have 200 milliliters of a gas when you collect the gas, but the gas molecules do actually occupy a portion of that space and the size of the gas molecules will have a definite impact on how well the gases compare to our ideal situation. Gas molecules may have a significant attraction for one another. It could be that gas molecules aren't as far apart in some circumstances as we think, and they are attracted to each other, and that causes definite deviations from the ideal. When are gas molecules likely to have significant attraction for one another? When they are forced close together in the circumstances of low temperature and high pressure. And that is when we get the greatest deviations from ideality. Let's have a look at the van der Waals equation and try a problem. With the van der Waals equation is like this. It is a variation on PV equals NRT. So we start with a pressure, and the first thing we do is we make an allowance in the pressure. Then we take the volume, and we make an allowance for the volume. As you can figure, the allowance for the pressure probably has to do with the attraction of gas molecules for one another. The allowance that we have in the volume has to do with the actual size of the molecules themselves. And that is equal to nRT. Now, A, remember, adjusts for the attractive forces between these molecules. And B, adjusts for the size of the molecules. And you will find those constants in a table in your textbook. Let's have a look at Calculate the pressure exerted by three moles of chlorine gas held in a 10 liter container at minus 40 degrees Celsius and 1200 Tor. And let's use both methods. Now notice I've given you this problem at a rather chilly temperature and a fairly high pressure. And we're going to use the ideal gas law and the van der Waals equation and compare the results. So let's use the ideal gas law first. PV equals nRT. Well, the pressure, which is what we're looking for, times the volume of 10 liters is equal to, of course, the number of moles, and we have three moles of the gas here, times R, which is 0.082 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, something you were born knowing, times 233 Kelvins. And I have the pressure, then, is 5.74 atmospheres. But now that we have this gas at a rather chilly temperature and a fairly high pressure, let's apply the van der Waals equation and see how much agreement we get between the ideal and the real. In using the van der Waals equation, we take P plus A times N squared over V squared. That gives us the allowance for the pressure factor times V minus N B is equal to nRT. Now, you're going to have to go look in your textbook for the constants. I'm going to give you the constants here, but in your textbook, you should have a table of van der Waals constants. Here is the constant. We have P plus 6.493 liter squared atmospheres per mole squared times three moles squared of course, that's our n squared, isn't it? Over 10.2 liters squared, 10, 10 squared, not 10.2, 10 squared liters squared, times 10 liters minus 3 moles times 0 0.05622 liters per mole. Now, I have given you the constants for chlorine, and it's specific for chlorine for this van der Waals. 
Now let's go to the NRT portion. Is equal to 3 moles times 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin times 233 Kelvins. Watch your units, make sure they count. I came up that the pressure is 5.25 atmospheres. Perhaps you want to pause this video and check that out. Make sure I didn't make an error. Now, let's compare the two results. Using the ideal gas law, we came out that the pressure was 5.74 atmospheres. But in reality, the Van der Waals equation tells us that the pressure is actually 5.25 atmospheres. And that is a significant difference. And it is due to the two factors we mentioned, the attractive forces of the gas molecules for one another and the actual volume that is occupied by the gas molecules themselves. And you've got to remember that under certain circumstances, you have to allow for those forces. Brought to you courtesy of Chemistry Professor, offering complete chemistry courses on DVD. Visit us at our site, www.chemistryprofessor.com.